I just want to start by saying this is not clickbait. Mercedes have finally admitted they got their car concept wrong and that they will need to change it if they want to fight for championships. Before we get into the comments made by Toto Wolff and Lewis Hamilton, let's just remember how we got to this point. 12 months ago, when Mercedes revealed their 2022 car in Barcelona testing, it didn't look all that different to the others. It certainly had side pods. This was the first year of a huge regulation change and absolutely nobody knew entirely what to expect. Then when the cars were revealed in Bahrain for the second test, Mercedes showed up with an incredible design that became known as the Zero Pod. There was barely anything to the side pods at all, so slim in fact that the side impact structure was a separate element. It was really unique and no other car had anything quite like it. It was actually seen as a technical masterpiece. How have they managed to fit all of that cooling into the side pods with such an incredible design? But was it fast? Well, Mercedes seemed to think it would be. Everything in the wind tunnel suggested it was going to be a rocket ship, but they were plagued with issues. Most notably, the phenomenon that became known as porpoising. The car was unruly, and they suffered probably more than any other team with the bouncing. It took them a long time into the season to really get on top of it, with multiple attempts at changing the floor. Silverstone was probably a big turning point for them. That's when they started to really get more performance out of the car. Despite all of that, and even when they got on top of their bouncing, the car was really draggy. Even still, they continued to develop the car all year, and by the time we got to Brazil, it was a winner. Then at the final race in Abu Dhabi, it was miles off the pace again. It was good at some tracks and bad at others. Still, everyone was interested to see what Mercedes would do over the winter to close the gap to Ferrari and Red Bull. Many people questioned the zero side pod concept, but Mercedes insisted it's not just the side pods. The concept of the car includes things that you can't see. The floor being one of the most pivotal parts of the car to generate downforce. And the suspension as well is so important to keep that low ride height. So when Mercedes revealed their 2023 car, and it still had that same side pod concept, albeit reshaped, everyone was fairly surprised. But Mercedes were confident they had got on top of their issues, and they have to an extent. A pre-season testing, the car was far more stable than its predecessor, and Toto Wolf stated the bouncing was gone. Hurrah! It was no longer an issue. The car didn't look quick, though. Both drivers struggled over the three days, and with good reason, the team was reserved. Lewis Hamilton especially spent more time sideways than going forward. So how have we now got to the point where Mercedes are backtracking on their own design? Well, we've now had the first qualifying session of 2023, and it was a bit of a struggle for Mercedes. Even before qualifying on Friday, Hamilton was quoted as saying, I have to be hopeful. There was good progress through last year, but the gap wasn't as big as it is now. Do I believe we can close the gap at some stage? Yes, but I think it's quite hard with the concept we have. Again, he was making direct reference to the quote-unquote concept. Now, I do want to remind you again, the concept is more than just the side pod. It's the whole philosophy of the car. And a lot of that is what we can't see. But he wouldn't be the only one to mention the concept. Once we got into qualifying, Q1, Q2, the car didn't look all that bad in fact i was pretty surprised by their pace at least compared to their rivals it looked like hold on have they found something after q3 though the team ended up in p6 and p7 with two red bulls two ferraris and one aston martin and namely mr fernando alonso ahead of them when interviewed after qualifying hamilton said i woke up this morning thinking we were going to be a lot further behind and so the fact we're even getting into q3 was great now that in itself sounds to me like he was surprised they were in Q3 in the first place, which is astonishing coming from a Mercedes driver. But it was Toto Wolff's comments to the media after qualifying that really made it clear there are serious issues at Mercedes. He said, I don't think this package is going to be competitive eventually. We gave ourselves a year to make this car work because we believed in the concept. We've done some really good development over the winter for that particular concept, and now we've come to race one and we see we haven't caught up. It's not only like last year, scoring many podiums and eventually you get there. I'm sure we can win races this season, but it's really the mid and long term that we need to look at and which decisions we need to take. It's not like we have to just put the car in the bin 
There's so much more to still learn from the car and improvements that will be relevant, even if we put bigger side pods on the car and change the concept. Now, I find these comments really interesting because, first of all, we haven't even had a race yet. Toto's making these comments after qualifying, but he was also quick to downplay the team's chances in the race as well. He said the race pace isn't very good and they released a second a lap off Red Bull. So now you've not only got Lewis Hamilton directly referencing the concept, but Toto has now come out and made remarks about changing the car as well. And that screams to me of internal issues. Mike Elliott is a talented engineer, no doubt, and Mercedes must have been confident they can make this concept work. And maybe they can. There are 23 races in the season. But it's odd to hear such negativity from within the team before we've even got to the grid for the first race. It feels like maybe promises were made that this could pull them back in the right direction and they haven't hit those targets. We also have to remember that there's planned upgrades. We've heard of a bodywork change coming in the first few races. But the team have been clear that it's not going to be a copy of another team. It's just an evolution of their own design. But we also can't ignore the budget cap. Teams can no longer throw money at a problem mid-season and just build a brand new car. Unless they already have that design worked and it's in the pipeline. It's going to be incredibly difficult to change the entire concept of a car until at least next year. And even then, if they go for something similar to Ferrari and Red Bull, they will be behind in their understanding of that particular concept, having spent so long struggling with their own. Of course, despite this negativity from Mercedes, they may very well be better at other tracks and that gap might be smaller. Bahrain is definitely a track that they thought they would struggle at because the car's rear limited. But with two key members coming out publicly being negative towards the concept, it does suggest there are some issues within the team. I hope you've enjoyed this little breakdown and if you have, be sure to like and subscribe for lots more F1 content.